YouTube, Mark Hoffman here, and today I have a new knife to show you, and that is this one. This is a Mikov knife, and it is made in Czechoslovakia. And this is a very interesting knife. Now you can obviously see that it is, um, well, competing with Victorinox in its design, but this knife I actually first saw on Knife Chats with Tobias's channel, and he had a few of these that he was showing in his YouTube, and I, I thought it looked like a solid knife, so I went out and found one. And I have to say, it is actually a pretty solid little knife, made very well. This company has been around since the 1800s, or no, no, actually no, the 1700s. It's been around since the late 1700s, and... I am actually amazed at the quality of this knife. Now, granted, this is not going to be Victorinox quality, but for what I paid, this is a very good little knife. Now, of course, I'm not going to be using it too much. I'm actually going to just throw it in my collection and um, have it as a Swiss Army styled knife, I guess. But I wanted to show it with you guys. So here is the, the tank stamp here, Mikov Stainless, and then... Czechoslovakia and the snap on it is very good it's got a very good walk and talk very nice all the tools have very good snaps to them very very nice it actually is only missing one thing versus the Victorinox and that's actually a pen blade this one does not have a small pen blade it's just got the larger main blade. So let's quickly compare it to the competition. So there's the Mikov and then here is the Victorinox and these are both from about the same time period. I'm guessing this one's probably from the 80s and this Victorinox Spartan is actually from the mid 80s, very early 80s. And you can actually see here that the red on the Mikov is more of like a tomato red. And then the Victorinox is going to be a very nice, deep, natural red. The finishing on the main blade is going to be a little, um, I would say, basic. Not as refined, not as sharp. And the point on it is actually quite rounded. So it is not very sharp. Um, you can actually see there's blade damage on it. But what I suspect is whoever owned this ended up denting or damaging the blade it didn't cut very well so they just threw it in a drawer and never ended up sharpening it now the other big difference is that this actually has a older style can opener it's more of the lobster claw can opener and so we have the victorinox can opener versus the mikov and they both do the job um, I actually really prefer this style versus the Victorinox, but the Victorinox adds a small flathead or a small Phillips driver at the end. Now, when it comes to the cap lifter, the cap lifters are pretty much the same except one is thicker, a little more refined, and a little bit taller. But they both do the job just fine and they both work as a screwdriver, wire stripper, and cap lifter. I, I do prefer the Victorinox though over the Mikov. Now when it comes to the corkscrews, the Mikov actually has a very competent corkscrew. The corkscrew on this is not bad. It's it's very good. Um, it's it's not cheap or, or uh, flimsy like most of these copycat knives. But I have to say the, the corkscrew is very, very nice. It's robust, very thick, and it's actually, I think, a little thicker than the older Victorinox's corkscrews. Now, when it comes to the reamer, the reamer is substantially different. So the Victorinox reamer is like that with a little bit of a bevel in there. But then when it comes to the Mikov, you have... Just this big bevel sharpened edge here, and then a secondary edge, and then that's it versus the Victorinox. And, and actually this one works just fine. It is not as capable, I could say, as capable as the Victorinox, 
but in a pinch this works and to be fair the construction on this given that this may have been slightly abused it does have a little bit of a wiggle but the construction on this knife is not bad it's got very nice walk and talk on all the tools uh, the Victorinox is always going to have that real substantial snap but if I had this and you gave me this I, I'd feel confident in this knife but of course I'd love to have a Victorinox but I thought you guys would enjoy seeing the Mikoff it is a new knife to me and um, I only found it because of Tobias over at Knife Chats with Tobias so this is a very interesting knife and I hope to get another one that I can carry. So if you guys enjoyed this video, just let me know in the comments. And if you have one of these, let me know. And um, yeah, this is a new knife to me. And this is the Mikoff Swiss Army Knife. So till the next one, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.